strange shroudiness possesses them. It is the quality of the climate. Why doth not then our eyelids sink? I find not myself disposed to sleep. Nor I. My spirits are nimble. They fell together all as by consent. They dropped as by a thunderstroke. What might, worthy Sebastian? Oh, oh, oh what might? No more. And yet, methinks I see it in thy face, what thou shouldst be. The occasion speaks thee, and my strong imagination sees a crown dropping upon thy head. What, art thou waking? Do you not hear me speak? I do. And surely it is a sleepy language, and thou speakst out of thy sleep. What is it thou didst say? This is a strange repose, to be asleep with eyes wide open, standing, speaking, moving, and yet so fast asleep. Noble Sebastian, thou lets thy fortune sleep. Die, rather, winkst whilst thou art waking. <laughs> thou dost snore distinctly. There is meaning in thy snores. <laughs> I am more serious than my custom. You must be so too, repeat me, for to do so trebles the o'er. Well, I am standing water. I'll teach you how to blow. Prithee, say on. The setting of thine eye and cheek proclaim a matter from thee, and a birth indeed which throws thee much to yield. Thus, sir. Although this lord of weak remembrance, this who shall be of as little memory when he is earth, hath here almost persuaded, for he's a spirit of persuasion, only professes to persuade the king his son's alive. Tis as impossible that he's undrowned, and he that sleeps here swims. I have no hope that he's undrowned. <laughs> Out of that no hope, what great hope have you? No hope that way is another way so high a hope that even ambition cannot pierce a wink beyond, but doubt discovery there. Will you grant with me that Ferdinand is drowned? He's gone. Then tell me, who's the next heir of Naples? Clarabelle. <laughs> she that is queen of Tunis. She that lies 10 leagues beyond man's life. She that from Naples can have no note unless the sun were post, the man in the moon's too slow, till newborn shins be rough and razorable. She that, from whom? We all were sea swallowed, though some cast again. And by that destiny, to perform an act where what's past is prolonged, what to come in yours and my discharge. What stuff is this? How say you? Tis sure my brother's daughter's queen of Tunis, so is she heir of Naples. Twixt which regions there is some space. A space? Whose every cubit seems to cry out, how shall that Clarabel measure us back to Naples? Keep in Tunis. Let Sebastian wait. Say this were death, that now have seized them. Why, they were no worse than now they are. There be that can rule Naples as well as he that sleeps, lords that can pray as amply and unnecessarily as this Gonzalo. That you bore the mind that I do. What a sleep were this for your advancement. Do you understand me? Methinks I do. And how does your content tender your own good fortune? I remember you did supplant your sister Prospera. <laughs> True. And look how well my garments sit upon me. <laughs> Much better than before. Then my sister's servants were my fellows. Now they are my men. But for your conscience. <laughs> Aye, sir, and where lies that? But I feel not this deity in my bosom. Twenty consciences that stand twixt me and Milan Candied be they, melt or they molest me. Here lies your brother, no better than the earth he lies upon. If he were that which now he's like, that's dead, whom I, with this obedient steel, three inches of it, can lay to bed forever. Whilst you doing thus to the perpetual wing, for I might put this ancient morsel, this Sir Prudence, who should not upbraid our course. For all the rest, they'll take suggestion as a cat lacks milk. They'll tell the clock to any business that we say befits the hour. 
Thy case, dear friend, shall be my precedent. As thou dost Milan, I'll come by Naples. Draw thy sword. One stroke will free thee from the tribute which thou payest, and I, the king, shall love thee. Draw together. And when I rear my hand, do you the like to fall it on Gonzalo. Oh, but one word. My master, through her art, foresees the danger that you her render in and sends me forth, or else her project dies to keep them living. <laughs> While you hear Duke's glory lie, open eye, conspiracy, his time doth take. If oblige you, keep a care, shake off slumber and beware. Away! Away! Then let us be sudden. Now good angels, preserve the king! Uh, what up? Uh, what up? Uh, now, awake! Why are you drawn? Wherefore this ghastly looking? What's the matter? Whilst we stood here securing your repose, even now we heard a hollow burst of bellowing, like bulls, uh, or rather lions. <laughs> Did not wake you? It struck mine ear most terribly. I heard nothing. Oh, twas a din to fright a monster's ear, to make an earthquake. Sure, it was. It was the roar of a whole herd of lions. Heard you this, Gonzalo? Upon my nervous sir, I heard a humming, and not a strange one, too, which did awake me. I shaked you, sir, and cried. As mine other eyes opened, I saw the weapons drawn. There was a noise, that's verily. Tis best we stand upon our guard, but that we quit this place. Let's draw our weapons. Lead off this ground. Let's make further search for my poor son. Heavens keep him from these beasts, for he is sure of the island. Lead away. <laughs> <laughs>